Often we find ourselves spending tens of thousands of Robux on user ads, but if we only make <clears throat> 155 clicks, maybe only end up making 12 Robux. It is sad, I know, but today I'm going to be showing you how to change that. You need an ad that pops out from the rest. An ad like none other. What What is this? Something that sparks curiosity in the human mind. Like, what is this? Seeing this makes me want to click it. Well, like, I don't even know what this is, but but I clicked it for, for Pitbull Concert. Like, what? Anyways, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe before you leave. And if this video is useful, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a useful ad, a very eye-catching ad. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. Okay, I have made these videos many times in the past, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make more of a, a detailed ad, something like this, something like this maybe, because previously I only show you how to make like the banner with just like drawings on it but i'll show you today how to make something a bit more detailed and all we really need to do is first of all get the template if you don't have that and you want to get it make sure to press on create now if you want to advertise your game all you need to do is press on the drop down arrow and then you want to press on advertise i'm going to advertise my game so what you want to do is for your game you want to press on the drop down arrow and then when you press on advertise and it will take you to this page right here now here is where you can download the templates so a banner is the the one that goes along the top so the ones you'll find on the top the skyscrapers are the one that go on the side and then the rectangle are usually at the bottom so i don't recommend that because not many people see it so i recommend going for skyscraper or banner today i'm going to go for skyscraper so i'm going to right click and then i'm going to say save image as you can either save that to your computer or what you can do is just copy it right into the the app that we are going to be using then you can leave this open and open up a new tab now you want to type in photopia so now what you want to do is come down here to where it says photopia.com and you want to press on that <clears throat> and then it will open you into this now if you did save it to your computer then you just say open from computer and you select the file and if you want to just copy and paste it which i find easier you want to right click and then say copy image and then you want to press on Control v and then it will be here there will be nothing alongside as you can see if there is then you have not got the right template um this it should be just like this and just like this so there's nothing around now you can close this if you are on mac though you can um save this to your computer and then paste it and um that will be easier if if it works for you okay now since my game is about the wise mystical tree all i can do so it's easy for me is search in google the wise mystical tree and then i can just select any of these images that i want now obviously you can do your own artwork or you can do any other thing you like but you can just use images from google for example this i can just use this and then what i want to do if you want this image you can either save it to your computer by right clicking on it and then say save image as and then save it to any of your folders but what i'm gonna do since it's easier you can right click on copy image and then come back to photopia and click in photopia Control v is to paste or you can right click and say paste now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch this so you need to select the image obviously on this image and then what you want to do is press on edit come all the way down to transform and then what you want to do is scale now you can scale it to any size you want now what i'm going to do is this half this and then this half can be something else so what i'm going to do is come back and then i'm going to select another image so i can find just any random image okay now i have these two images and then i'm going to put this in so all you need to do is right click once again copy image and then come back here and Control v now luckily that is 
perfectly sized but make sure it is something that won't get deleted off roblox we don't we don't want you getting banned but you can use any picture that you want um if you are making like my previous video that i made about a ad i did a backrooms ad so all i did was search in google backrooms all i did was get a backrooms image off google something it can be something like this and then all you need to do is copy that image and then obviously you need to select background and then paste it and then let me just put that on top okay and now what you want to do is just edit transform and scale and then you just scale this and then i just added text you can do that easily by pressing on the text box and then what you want to do is slide the text box and then what you want to do is type whatever so i'm going to just type um let's say back back rooms and then what you want to do is press on the center up here if you want it centered and then if you want the text bigger you have to make sure it is selected and then come over here now what you want to do is you can change the size oh not of the, the paintbrush of the text and then you can change the size to any size you want just like that and then you can change the color by making like that you have to make sure that it is selected though and then you can change the font here are all the fonts you just press on the drop down arrow and then you basically that that's everything you just this is this is the ad now once you are done you can press on file also first of all we can come onto our desktop and we can uh, right click and then we can say new and then we can say folder and name this roblox ads and then we can just have this folder here now what you want to do is come back and then when you say file you can say export as and then you can save it as a png and now you can just save that and then it will save it won't save to your roblox file that you just made saved as image 3.png and then if you come into folder and you go to downloads your downloads um and it will say image 3 and then if i open that it will open my image so this is the image now you have to make sure that you save it as a png anyways once that is done you can close that now all we need to do is put it up so what you can do press on create you can add all of your roblox ads to this roblox ads folder just so that it is easier for you to keep track of things but you it is you don't have to it's just a suggestion anyways if you come to create and it does not show this then there will be a little option that says manage my experiences you want to click on that once you've clicked on that it will come back to this now all you need to do is you can press on the drop down arrow and then you want to press on advertise and then all you need to do is upload your image okay so here's the image as you can see there are no borders on the side it is just gray and uh, you can do that and make sure it is that size and it says dot png now you have to name your ad okay so i just named it something stupid like that and then what you can do is just press upload and now hopefully i don't get banned from roblox now because uh, of the the image but as you can see here are my other ads now all you need to do to run your ad as you can see it will say not running and um as you can see i've done a total of 700 robux bidding on this and i've got 47,628 people to see it but uh, but that's because i never worked on this that much this i only bid 100 robux um but it is a quality ad um anyways the higher robux you bid the better so i recommend bidding higher robux but if you don't have a lot of robux make sure to join my roblox group or my discord i do giveaways regularly and um yeah but anyways even if you have five robux 
430 people will see it, I guess. But I, I recommend like 200 Robux to start with if you if you don't have a lot. If you do have a lot, if you somehow have a thousand, um, then you can do a thousand. And that's really good because you get nearly a hundred thousand people to see. I got all of these Robux just from this ad right here um, because of my game. But anyways, if this tutorial was helpful, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me if we could make it to 3000. Uh, anyways, goodbye. My goal is to reach 3000 subs by the end of this year. So if we can somehow do that, it will mean the world to me.